Hey, hello everyone. <laughs> We're finally live. Sorry for the little delay. Welcome to our digital salon, uh, the second one of this year. Um, very happy. Uh, shorter team, shorter uh, time, but yet very, very effective. Um, again, I'm, I'm joined by my colleagues Sadie and Alias, Sadie Clayton and Alias Latif. Uh, welcome, guys. And uh, let me introduce straight away the, the uh, the subject of of um, of today, and I can see that city city. You need to start this because you definitely are the one to lead on this. Is is these screens that we have in, in front of us due to working from home and so on? Um, so, uh, let's say what makes us sloppy. Are we sloppy whilst we are pretending to be? You see, Speak I put a little bell, I'm not sloppy. <laughs> there you go. That's why I wanted to. Well, the the point is, is the screen an excuse to be sloppy whilst we're working from home? Sidi, so, yeah. I wanted to lead on this because you're definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think right at the beginning, you know, from lockdown numero uno, um, you know, it was a bit of a novelty, wasn't it? Like, oh my God, we can work from home. Things can slow down. I don't need to get dressed up. But then actually, you find yourself over time thinking, Mm, actually need to make an effort like you need to act like you're still going to work yeah. and just, just you know I love fashion I'm a fashionista and you know I just love dressing up anyway um I find myself excited to put on different clothes every day like oh we're gonna pull out of the drawer this morning and also you know from my strict workout regime I can now fit into clothes that I never used to be able to for years so that's quite nice I've, like got whole, I've discovered a whole new wardrobe which is quite nice <laughs> Um, so yeah, I understand it, Kat, and I know a lot of people get dressed up on the top and I get dressed up on the bottom, uh, which is quite funny. But yeah, I, I like it. Alice, what's, what's your policy here? Uh, my policy is to dress dress up, to, not to necessarily dress up to an extreme where you're actually going to meet your friends, but smarten up a little bit. Because uh, <clears throat> that, for me, uh, makes a big difference to my uh, mental health as well as self-esteem. Because you know, when I'm when I'm wearing my jogging bottoms and uh, trainers, I feel like uh, I need to go for a workout, or I or I'm ready to maybe clean the kitchen, something domestic. But if I'm dressed dressing up for the day, then it kind of perks me up. I'm You're like, ready for business. I'm ready for business, exactly. <laughs> That's, that, it, it, it's very, very interesting. I think for, for me, it goes back into two aspects. So going back to what uh, Sadie was saying, uh, first lockdown, lockdown number uno, numero uno. I yeah. was like, yes, you know what? I'm going to do an effort every day. I'm going to wear all these outfits <clears throat> that actually, even they don't necessarily fit any longer, you know, <laughs> with a good lighting, with a good lighting, they're going to be fine. That lasted probably one week. So... <laughs> On the plus side, generally speaking, uh, also when you see me in the office, I, I, I have my kind of uniform. I'm, I'm passionate about the concept of a uniform, which is a blue jumper, uh, blue, um, a navy blue trousers and a pair of white sneakers. <clears throat> It's a very, if you want, it's a, it's a, it's a 1980s living in Milan uh, during the university, Giorgio Armani kind of heritage, that kind of simplicity, yeah. but incredibly effective. It's more the quality. So, mm -hmm. but then, 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 uh, then the look. So <clears throat> I am possibly retaining some sort of consistency throughout, whether, whether I'm home or not, with some, some days of sloppiness, where it's 50-50, good and bad. <laughs> so <laughs> so hard. Yeah, sometimes I have a bad hair day. I'm like, oh, I'll just put my hat on as if I'm going to work, you know? <laughs> a, a leopard print beret will be fine. But I think it's that, it's that nature, isn't it? Of like getting up, getting dressed, you're going to work, you know, to separate our lives. Now our home has become our office. You know, so how can we separate that? So I think it is that idea of getting up, getting dressed, getting ready for work. And then when you shut that laptop, that's when you can get changed into your jogging bottoms and your, you know, your lounge wear. Um, which I think has become a very popular uh, category of clothing, loungewear. Well, but, but loungewear and, and uh, at leisure and, and so on, be, even prior to, to, to lockdown and so on, have been quite popular. I never What's owned a, a pair yeah. of daughters until lockdown. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's super interesting. But the idea, again, in terms as well of design development or, or lifestyle development, the, I think that the, the, the pandemic has simply exacerbated the concept of uh, being even more relaxed. We started off, uh, I guess, with uh, um, casual Fridays. And I remember like 
uh, back in um, like 15 years ago, 20 years ago, when the, the, concert, the first concert of Casual Fridays, which meant you don't have to wear a tie in the office, yeah. starts it off. And now today, uh, even pre-pandemic, that everybody was sort of free to wear whatever you want. I think also we have the benefit that working in a creative environment <clears throat> allow us to express ourselves in, in whichever way. So even if it's a sloppy jog, jogging bottoms, it's like it's fashion darling. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but even, you know, I've noticed when teaching online, like, you know, some of my students still make an effort as well. I think like, like you said, Fabio, going back to your point on, or it might have been you, Alias, about, you know, mental health and, you know, self care. Yeah. is important, isn't it? Just for your own mental state that you feel ready for the day. Exactly. Um, I was thinking, oh, my students are going to be logging on Zoom, like on the sofa or in their bed, but they're not, you know, they're getting up, they're getting ready and they're ready to start, mm -hmm. you know, their day and they're, they're being productive, which is great. Yeah. Well, I don't want to um, um, tell you that my students are the opposite, but unfortunately I have to because uh, partially I think for us to dress up a little bit also gives, gives them a, 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 an opportunity to, to see that, you know, somebody else has shown up professionally to speak to them um, and uh, when I saw them as well some of them some of them do make an effort but some don't so but I have to remind them sometimes that when you're doing a presentation or, or you have your camera on in front of the class it's better to not cross the line completely and you know show up in your pajamas yeah um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. No, but you see, guys, this is this is uh, something that is incredibly interesting. It's like uh, we're going back to well, uh, I think a word that makes sense to all of us: netiquette. And now yeah. the netiquette is changing again. Exactly. Uh, so we, we we possibly would want to write the new eti netiquette uh, book or uh, ebook in order to make sure that uh, that uh, certain kind of it's not necessarily kind of standards it's, it's actually politeness too uh, 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 you, if you talk to someone in the older generation our grandparents and so on for them dress it wasn't even dressing up it was just uh, it was just how things were supposed to be done so absolutely and i think as well you know from a professional practice point of view you know going back to the students it's important like you said you know when they're presenting to have that level of professionalism yeah. But if you're slobbed in your pajamas and automatically you've got a totally different mindset, you know you're not prepared to deliver professionally. Mm, um, exactly. so it's good to you know that you know to encourage students to get up, get dressed, and get on your way. Yeah. And, that, yeah. that, and, that, and that should be something that perhaps we need to start including as well into our interaction with our students. So like, like show me what you're wearing, and <laughs> yeah. like, let, 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 let's make it a little fashion parade before we yeah. start our session. It would be actually yeah. quite a interesting. Virtual fashion and, show. <laughs> and, yeah, but exactly because because it would be it would make quite a lot of sense. I'm thinking reflecting on certain other aspect of. Uh, how certain things have moved online. <clears throat> I was reading an article regarding the fact that because we can't go to luxury stores any longer, the, what has replaced the act of carrying a, a carrier bag or a box and so on is actually the unpacking and unboxing at all. So yeah, in yeah. reverse, we can find a way on of how to uh, make our students proud of uh, showing themselves, uh, even, even with, with simplicity, but again, uh, I always think that a blue jumper, a navy blue jumper, and uh, blue chinos are incredibly elegant. Um, so Italian and chic, <laughs> <laughs> and a little brooch. <laughs> a little yeah, brooch. Cool. <laughs> I think we also we also forget how much advice we give students when we are physically with them in terms of uh, what they should wear to do the presentation, what they should do, where to uh, do an interview, what they should wear to be professional. So. For example, tomorrow we have a guest lecturer coming to uh, speak to our students, and I made it very clear that you, this is an opportunity for you to make a, a really good first impression mm -hmm. by ensuring that your camera is on, that you are dressed well, and you are, have a smile on your face, and because this is how you are networking and meeting somebody new from the industry. And if you put your right foot in front, then you have an opportunity of working with them and um, yeah, absolutely um, but so, I was doing some uh, student interviews for our next intake and this particular guy he wore a white shirt and I was like oh I didn't say it but obviously I was thinking oh you know you've made an effort you know you look yeah, smart exactly. and again yeah. you know I've remembered that he's made a good impression um so yeah I think that's a really fair point Alias and it would be actually quite good now that we have discussed and developed this 
it would be actually quite nice to really uh, bring this forward on the table with our students. Let's make yeah. an effort. Let's all make an effort. So, and of course, we, 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 we can't push it too much, but uh, it would be nice that everybody made an effort as a new approach to, to our new netiquette for, yes. for the post-pandemic year. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I think uh, this was very, uh, we need to keep it short. I understand that today uh, it's a shorter version, but I think this was fun. Um, yeah. Guys, I would like to thank, short and sweet, short and sweet. That, sometimes that works too. I would like to thank you for, uh, for your uh, uh, contribution today. It has been really nice and really nice to see you as always. Thank you very much. Thank and you. See you next week. Bye, Bye guys.